So now, we will enable email and password login. Click on Setup Sign-in method. Select Email Password. We will look at email link later, enable email and password, and click on Save. Now that we have enabled email and password, any new user will appear here. Now in Android Studio, we will create a new activity to register user. So first, we will create a new package. Let us name it, Sign In. We will create a new empty activity in this Sign In package. Let us name it, Register Activity. Now in main activity, we will create a register button, and once we click on that button, we will open register activity. So, in activity underscore main dot XML button width 150 height 50 ID btn underscore register Text register. Top to top of parent. Bottom to bottom of parent. Left to left of parent. Right to right of parent. Constraint vertical bias 0 0.35. Now, we will create a reference to this button in main activity. Button btn underscore register. btn underscore register equals find view by id btn underscore register. Now whenever we click on this button, we need to open register activity. btn underscore register dot set on click listener, new view dot on click listener. Intent intent equals new intent, main activity dot this. Register activity dot class. Start activity intent. Now open register activity and activity underscore register dot XML. Here we will create edit text for email and password and a register button below them. So first we will access Firebase Auth here. Now, edit text. Width, 250. Height, 50. Int, enter, your email ID. Input type, text email. Gravity, center. Left to left of, parent. Right to right of, parent. Top to top of, parent. Bottom to bottom of, parent. ID ET underscore register underscore email. Constraint vertical bias 0 0.4. Now copy and paste the same edit text once again. Remove vertical bias. Margin top 10. ID ET underscore register underscore pass WD. Hint enter your Password. Input type, text, password. Remove top to top of and bottom to bottom of. Instead, add top to bottom of et underscore register underscore email. We will copy and paste the button we have created in main activity. Now, id btn underscore register underscore user. We will remove vertical bias. We will also remove top to top of and bottom to bottom of. Instead, top to bottom of et underscore register underscore pass wd. Margin top 10. Now, we will create references for these three views inside register activity.
Now, we will set on click listener to register button. So when we click on register button, we need to check if both email ID and password are entered. So, if et underscore register underscore email dot get text dot to string dot is empty, then et underscore register underscore email dot set error, please enter email ID. Else if et underscore register underscore pass wd dot get text dot to string dot is empty. Then et underscore register underscore pass wd dot set error, please enter password. Else, which means both email ID and password have been entered. Emoth.create user with email and password. ET underscore register underscore email dot get text dot to string. ET underscore register underscore pass WD dot get text dot to string. If you want, you can also create two strings for email ID and password and use those strings instead of getting text through edit text every time. Dot add on complete listener. New. On complete listener. So, once we have clicked on register, our task can be either success or failure. So if it is successful, we will display user ID. If it is failure, we will display the reason for failure. If task dot is successful, then toast dot make text get application context emoth dot get current user dot get uid toast length long dot show else toast dot make text get application context task dot get exception dot get message dot to string toast length long dot show we will click on run I will enter my email ID here, and password will be 123456. Click on register. You can see the user ID here. Here, a new user is created. You can see email ID, provider, created date, last signed in and user ID. We can also reset password, disable account and delete user from here. If we click on register once again with same details, you can see the error message here. In the upcoming videos, we will update user profiles by adding display name and a profile picture URI. We will look at user sign-in as well.